Well, Ryan, straight back from Lona, straight back into a winning side. How great does that feel today? Yeah, it feels amazing. I mean, couldn't ask for more, really. Um, everyone on the pitch today put in everything, 110%. Um, and then, um, yeah, it was just an amazing feeling, really. Great result. Because, of course, obviously, you've come straight back from loan. You know, a lot of build-up was made about Mitch and Ethan. You know, goalkeepers union, you'll talk about that. How was the build-up for you? Yeah, it was a bit of a weird week because I didn't know until yesterday. There wasn't a point where I knew what was going on. I found out yesterday I prepared the whole week as if I was going to play. Um, and I was re I was ready for it because I've been out on loan. I've uh, been playing for the last three months regularly. So, I was, yeah, I was ready to go. How important has that been for you? Obviously, you've gone out on loan twice with Wimborne and Beaconsfield as well. How has that been for you in the preparation in case you need to be called up in, in a game like this? Yeah, I mean, it's the reason we go out on loan to get game time because there's no point being sat around not doing anything. Um, I went out to Wimborne for a month, played four or five games, done well. Unfortunately, got injured, came back, and then went out to Beaconsfield. I think it was just after Christmas, and then in the space of three months, I played 16 games. So I was in a good run of games, and I was ready to come in. You obviously come in today and got an assist within the first half as well. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I knew I had a big kick, and it was against the wind as well. But um, yeah, I've just set up for the goal kick, and I've just connected with it, and then managed to get it over there, back four, and um, Mikhail's done really well to finish it off. Just a word on Mikel today as well. Obviously, he's come back in and got off in a goal-scoring run as well, and it's good for him to get back on the goal-scoring mark. Yeah, it's great to see him. Any player that comes back in, they make a difference. Um, in the first half, it was a great finish. Um, he done really well, and yeah, he's had a great, great, great game. And for yourself as well, obviously a few important saves in that first half as well. I can think of Marshall in the first half that you've saved it and tipped it behind as well. So a few important moments that you've had to keep us in it. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't the busiest today, but... When I went out to do something, I'd done it well. Um, that save in the first half, and he cut it back, um, got down quick. But um, I'm overall like, pleased with my performance and the team's performance, and we all did well today. In the second half as well, obviously, we knew they were going to come out and look for the equaliser, and they did find it eventually, despite the best efforts of yourself and a few defenders as well. And a lot of teams might have crumbled at that, but we did well to respond to it nonetheless. Yeah, we did very well to respond. I mean, we play, played well for the whole game, and it Let's be honest, it took a lucky goal for them with a deflection, possibly two deflections. Um, but yeah, we done well, we reacted really well, um, played our game how we wanted to play and we got the second goal, which we deserved, and we deserved the win. And just a word on that second goal as well, really well worked move down the left, saw Jacob with an easy finish, well not easy, but a well-timed finish into the back of the net. Yeah, it was a really good move from the boys and um, Jacob under pressure and he was cool and it was a great finish from him. Of course, that there's that 15 minute spell of you know we need this win, we need to see it out, and yourself and the defence did really well to see it out for the remainder of the game. Yeah, we did. Um, it was I'm going to be honest, it was a nervy 15, 20 minutes, but been playing the last three months, and even though it's a different league and it's a different scenario and stuff, that's what you learn and that's the experience that you've gone out and taken. So I was ready for the 15, 20 minutes, and the boys we dug deep and we defended really well. You spoke about being nervy there, but of course it is a young squad we've got and it was a young club that played out there today. Do you think that comes with experience? And You know, you've played, I think, five National League games now, so the more experience you get, the more used to it you'll get to these sort of games. Yeah, I always get better um, the more more minutes that I play. Uh, I think of many things last season when I played those um, four games that I could have done better, but it happened and I learned from it. Um, so when I go out in occasions like this in a game today when I'm called upon, I'm ready for it and I can go out and perform. There was that sense of relief when the final whistle went as well. You said yourself you needed five, ten minutes alone to sort of settle yourself, settle yourself down as well. So a great win for everyone today. Yeah, it was a big relief off everyone's shoulders, obviously, with the amount of games we went without a uh, result. Um, so f just a weight off the shoulders for all the boys to get that um, get that win today. And we're all buzzing, so like, like proud of ourselves. Really. You should be proud of yourselves because it was a really, you know, a lot was made of this game and needing to respond and... You know, I think you've answered a lot of people's critics today and asked a lot of questions that were raised to you guys. Yeah, it was a big game and we all knew that every game is a big game now for these last uh, eight or so games that we've got. Um, but you've just got to go out there. We know we can perform. We've done it before. We've been on a run before. Um, and we'll go out every game we go out and we'll put our 110% in um, and look to get the results that we need. The cherry on top for you, man, in the match today as well. Yeah, yeah definitely cherry on top. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Like you mentioned, another you know few important games for us coming up. Obviously, the Easter weekend, we've got Yeovil on the Friday and Dagenham on the Monday, so two massive games for us coming up. Yeah, it's big games, and um, we'll go out there and do everything we can. We'll prep for I, obviously, with the two games in three days or whatever it is, the Friday, Monday. Um, but yeah, we'll prep during the week uh, how we should, um, and we'll be ready for both games. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.
Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.